Hey everyone, it's the Daily Moogle. Welcome back to Eternal Eden. Alright, we're gonna go up here to the left. And to the left again. Yeah, welcome back. Um, we're finally gonna wrap up Jericho's Tomb in this video. Uh, just a little bit more to go. Basically, it's just the boss. Uh, here is where we're gonna use the golden key that we found earlier. And then, uh, wouldn't you know it, this is where the yellow switches get deactivated. So that's always nice. And we find some money laying on the ground. Man, I wish that could happen to me in real life, I tell ya. I could use some of that right about now. Okay, so with the yellow switches deactivated, um... Let's see, we actually want to get back up to the second floor, I believe. So we're gonna head over this way. And, uh, yeah, luckily we can just cut right across to the other side here, because I actually want to go this way on the second floor. And, yeah, let's see here. Um, let me think about this. Ah, crap. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go up here? No, that's the Hall of Treasures. Actually... This is where I wanted to go. Okay. I had to go down one screen still. Sorry about that. So yeah, now that the yellow switches have been deactivated, we can get these chests. It's a gold shield. And a gold helmet! Man, I would almost think instead of uh, equipping this stuff, we could just sell it if it's like solid gold. <laughs> of course, it's probably extremely heavy. Um, so let's see. What do we want to do with this? See, the gold shield is a little bit better defense than the Escachian. But I'm going to keep it because of the evasion thing that it supposedly gives us. And let's see, iron armor? No, okay, that's terrible. Let me go to Downey and see what we can do here. Can anybody else use a shield, by the way? I don't think so. Yeah. So let's give this to Downey. Oh, it was a helmet. I was looking for, um... Yeah, I already have a gold suit. I was looking for gold body armor. For some reason, I thought that's what I picked up. But anyway... Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just give it to Downey as well, so he has... All of the gold stuff, pretty much. Whatever, sorry about that. <laughs> so, now let's keep heading down. Because, yeah, there's this room with the arrow, which... It doesn't look like there's anything special here, but there's actually a hot point. Yeah. Lapis, bomb, power tab, defense tab, and speed tab. So that's pretty nice. So it turns out that arrow did actually indicate something. <laughs> it's not just there to mess with you. Um, so yeah, at this point, uh, we've cleaned out literally this entire place, and we are ready to move on to the third floor... So we just want to head all the way back up here, and this staircase that was previously blocked by the yellow switches, we can now head up. And yeah, there's a little bit more hallways to go through. Some more items to collect. Uh, I think there's only like a couple things in here. Found a bone and a tonic. Oh, and another cutscene first. All right. <clears throat> now Gene wants to talk to Downey in private. No, no. I think we've already exhausted that subject. Yeah, tell me about it, man. I mean, the characters have just been bickering at each other throughout this entire dungeon. Gene has an errand for us. For Downey. It's nothing big. I'm concerned about Noah. Is there something wrong with Noah? Of course not. Well, nothing to be worried about. <clears throat> it's only... Could you keep an eye on Noah and note any bizarre behavior mean, you may notice? What? Why do you want me to do that? I can't tell you right now. You're just going to have to trust me. Just please do it, will you? All right. Thank you. <clears throat> well... I don't know why we need to keep an eye on Noah. He seems like kind of the most normal 
you know, reasonable person out of the bunch. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I do want to um, apologize for probably... Uh, for any any of you have, who may have been watching this uh, this Let's Play, you've probably noticed there's some varying like levels of quality <laughs> in my videos. And yeah, I'm kind of experimenting with using some different microphones and different like setups and stuff. Trying to find just the setup that works best, so... I know some of the videos I've posted haven't really been the greatest, so I, you know, I will just take a second and apologize for that. But, uh... Yeah, we're already fully healed up, so we're ready for the boss. Oop, there's something in the corner. And yeah, the boss, uh, is the reddish-orange smoke. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take him out! I am the eternal guardian of this vault of treasures. No soul is allowed to step foot into its sacred chambers. We will see about that. Jericho emerged. Wow, so we're actually fighting the Jericho, huh? 8,500 HP. Okay, so let's do a buster charge. Uh, let's use attack up on Noah, because that'll be awesome. And then, yeah, we get to try out Bolt 2 on this guy. And you're going to be pretty impressed. Um, I did end up using Bolt 2 when I was uh, playing a little bit, you know, earlier before I started recording. It does a lot of damage. So... I mean, just watch. Watch this. There's Bolt 1. <laughs> and there's Bolt 2. Over 2,000 damage in one spell. That's ridiculous. I mean, it would totally break the game at this point if it weren't so expensive and I could only use it one time. So, anyway, that's pretty exciting. I was pretty stunned when I saw how much damage that did. Yeah, and the attack up buff... Uh, I've noticed that it only lasts for... Like, a pretty limited number of attacks. Um, I've actually always been using it with Buster Charges, so I'm not sure if it's if it only lasts for two turns, or if it lasts for four physical attacks total. Because if... I, well, shoot. I guess I'll just point it out later, because it's going to be tough to, like, go back and re-explain it, I guess. We're going to kill this guy in this round anyway, so... Did that do it? Oh, that didn't kill him. <laughs> oh my god, Downey. Holy crap, thank you for surviving that. That was really close. But, uh, you're gonna die. Uh, speaking to Jericho now, so... We got him. Oh my god, there was this episode of Hey Arnold. I don't know why I remember this now, but... I never used to watch the show that much, but there was always a few episodes that just, I thought, were hilarious. And, uh, there's one where they're at the zoo or something. And Harold, which is, like, kind of the fat kid, <clears throat> uh, he throws his cup of soda onto this turtle. And then, like, for the next two minutes of the episode, he's screaming, I got him! Yes! Yes! I got him! Yes! I got him! Yes! And it, it was just stupid, but I don't know. It, for some reason, I thought that was funny, and that boss battle just reminded me of that. So anyway, thank you for taking that side trip with me. <laughs> so to continue the game, we actually have to jump into this pit. And it's actually going to land us here where we can pick up this treasure chest with a haste ring. Which, uh, unfortunately doesn't do what you might think. It doesn't give you, like, haste status. It just raises your agility by two, which... To me, compared to, like, attack and defense, or even spirit for the magic users... Um... 
I don't think it's as good, so I'm just not going to equip that at this point. And then we need to jump down even further. And now we're in this, like, basement kind of area. And yeah, there's a lot of items to pick up here around where we land, so you don't want to miss any of these. There's one up here. Uh, did I get this one? Nope. Okay, and I think there's a couple up here. Okay. So I wonder what's up here. Hey, what is that giant thing? My lord, it is an airship! Technology born from the minds of our ancestors, though feared lost, until now. This jewel was created even before Eden itself? Well, that's cool. So we get an airship already? A lot of times that doesn't happen until a lot later in most RPGs. <laughs> this is simply marvelous! I admit that it is impressive, but how the heck are we going to make it fly? Only birds can fly. <laughs> so yeah, airships are like a completely foreign idea to, to these guys, I guess. So it was some breakthrough invention... Yeah, and basically technology got too advanced and caused destruction. Rishi must have granted me the knowledge of how to fly the spaceship. Okay. That's handy. But yeah, it's just, you know, the good old battle between, like, technology and religion. <laughs> and he, like, runs around in circles. Oh, that's funny. So we're gonna hunt Leviathan, huh? And remember, Leviathan is supposedly the princess. Oh, there we go, we're flying. Do we really have to do this? I mean, I never imagined that we would be hunting our princess like this. There's no way we're gonna hurt her. Hmm. Yeah, maybe defeating her will f will free her soul. Sure. <laughs> I mean, what else are you going to do? Like, the beast is obviously going to try to kill us. <clears throat> Downey, you can't treat yourself like this. Exactly how am I supposed to be treating myself? Well, what Dogen is saying isn't totally crazy. How is killing our princess not crazy? Maybe he's right. Maybe we'll be able to free our princess by destroying her new body. We were the ones that gave her the fruits of wisdom, and they poisoned her. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, what else are you going to do, I guess? Just take her down and hope for the best. Yep, we're approaching Eden Tower. Holy crap. That's the princess? That doesn't look like her. I mean, she wasn't like a giant flying dragon when she ate the fruit. Tch. Hold fast, gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we are now going to fight the Leviathan. Um, so let's see. Well, like 10,000 HP, quadruple nines. Should be able to handle this, right? Let's get attack up on Noah. Of course we're going to use Bolt 2, because that's <laughs> easily the most powerful attack in our arsenal right now. And probably will be for a while. Although I guess if you add up all three 
attacks from the Buster Charge. It's, I mean, it's still nowhere close, but that's definitely our second strongest attack, I guess you could say. But yeah, so I used Buster Charge once, which was technically three physical attacks. But what I want you to notice is that uh, after the first physical attack of Noah's next Buster Charge in this upcoming turn, the attack up buff is going to go away. You know, like, uh, it's going to wear off. Oh, he guarded defense down, huh? Yeah, so you see how the game paused there a little bit longer after that first strike? And now the, the icon for his buff went away. So I can't actually tell if that's four physical attacks it wears off, or if it's just two turns. And whatever attacks you use on those two turns is like, what, you know, whatever you get. Now we don't actually get to kill this guy, he's gonna run away in a second. Or... Wow, he's really close to dying. Is he going to run away or not? He's supposed to run away. Or... Wow. So what... Oh, okay. Yeah, when I practiced this, um... Once its HP got low enough, it just ran away. It fled the battle. But I, I must have done something special there where if you do it right, uh, you'll actually get an elixir out of the deal. Whoa! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> this is really bad! She's backing off. Uh-oh. She's readying herself for a final attack. Do something! We're finished! Wow. We look like we just exploded. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Gene, I'm here. I can't see a thing. Me neither. Everything is pitch black. Are we dead? I don't know, I feel as if I don't have a body. We're floating. Giggle! Tee hee! Well, that's the princess. You don't know what joy it brings my heart to see the three of you reunited. Yes, it is I. I'm sorry for what has happened. I did not remember you at first. You're that beast, but I never intended to harm you. You have to believe me. I do. Do not worry yourself with my condition. Wow, well, she's very forgiving. <laughs> Any normal person would have been like, Fuck you, man. Made me eat that shit. <clears throat> she's going to send us back to our Eden. But she can't come with us. She has stuff that she has to attend to here. Great danger has befallen us, and it's my duty to remain here in this dark world. But aren't you the cause of the Dark World? I mean, if you came back with us, then you... Or are you still a dragon? I mean, did we save you or not? Yeah, protect it from what? From, like, yourself? Oh, of course. Time grows short and you can't explain further. Isn't that always what happens? Keep your heads up. There will be something that I want you to recognize that you were not aware of the first time through. Understood? Not really. <laughs> you will, trust me. Goodbye! Oh wow, so we really are back. Wow. Yeah, we haven't seen this in a while. Like, the screen is actually bright again. <laughs> the atmosphere isn't, like, dark and gloomy. Maybe it was all a dream, or a hallucination. Maybe we were all on acid, I don't know. So yeah, let's go see if the princess is there, I guess. Good idea. Let's head over this way. Noah, wait a second. 
What is it? I don't know. I just have this strange feeling of deja vu. There, look. Whoa, there's Noah again. And there's Downey again. I slept in way too much. This is the exact same dialogue from the beginning of the game. And their pictures are grayed out. Grayscale. It's us! We've been sent back in time before this whole thing began. Really? So that's what the princess did? So basically we have another chance to set things right before things get out of control, right? That's what we're going to try to do, I guess. I always thought meeting myself would be a pretty cool thing. <laughs> now you've managed to ruin even that. Two downies is way too much. I don't think there's enough room in the in the world for two downies. Yeah, Downey, don't you know that? You're never supposed to meet yourself. It it destroys the time paradox and, you know, blah blah blah. Two of me is more coolness than you can possibly handle. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's something here that we're supposed to notice that we didn't see the first time. So what's the plan? Gene's got an idea. So he wants us to go to Eden Tower, huh? Um. Oh, okay. I was gonna. I was about to say. I think you can go and explore. Yeah. But, uh, you can only get to that house before Gene stops you. So anyway, yeah, we're supposed to go back into the tower. Let's go ahead and head up here. We're gonna climb to the top again. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can talk to the people, but they... They say the exact same thing as, uh, when you talk to them in the beginning of the game, so... There's no new items to pick up, like, they don't... The items don't respawn or anything. It's the exact same map. So, you can kind of just skip everything and jump, not jump, but run all the way to the top of the tower. And yeah, now that you have the jumping ability, though, uh, if you notice that lily pad, you can actually jump behind the waterfall. And there's like this little secret area here. Um, I think there's going to be something that we can get here later, like a treasure or something. That I, I just remember it vaguely from my first time playing through this game a few years ago. Or whenever it was. But uh, I don't remember exactly when we'll be getting that, so... Just kind of keep that on the side for now. <clears throat> I'm ready to hear the plan already. We're here to replace something. Oh, so we're going to put normal fruits in place of the Fruits of Wisdom... And then let the old us take the normal fruits by mistake, basically. And then put the fruits of wisdom back again, I suppose. Doesn't this mean that the three of us will be erased from reality? I don't get that, but... Sure. We'll only lose one single day of our existence. Oh, well, they just mean, like, the three of them right here will disappear, not, like, the old and the new us disappear completely, like we were never born. Okay. So don't we still get in trouble for t still, like, removing the Fruits of Wisdom, though, even though we're replacing them? Like, we still took them from where they are. Isn't that the act, like, the trigger for the badness? Or was it the fact that the princess ate them? I guess. I don't know. So there's the old us again. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of scroll through this text a little bit quick, because we already read it. Um, yep, they're just going to take the uh, Fruits of Wisdom. Except they received the, f the fake Fruits of Wisdom this time. And I guess our plan worked, because they didn't really notice they were fake. Cool. Um, 
Well, I guess our plan is working well so far. Um, but since there's a save crystal here, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And I'll cut the video off right here, and we'll continue next time. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's the Daily Moogle. See you next time. Bye-bye.